Welcome guys, this is Keval Patil and in this video we are going to see design of socket and spigot type quarter joint. In the last video we have seen the design of spigot and spigot collar. Now we will start with design of socket and socket collar. So next step is design of socket and socket collar. Okay. So I am just taking socket and socket collar together. Now what is the dimension remaining? So D1, D2, sorry D1, D and D2. Okay. Only three dimensions remaining. Okay. So it is D1, D and D2. So three dimension, three formulas. So which are the three formulas? You already know that is tension, compression and shear. So first one is tension filler of socket now I have already told you whenever you are using socket then just consider socket and socket collar rod you don't consider so now we are having socket socket collar rod so just just forget about this just consider this okay now you are applying tensile tensile load over here okay you are applying tensile load here so i'm just drawing this for him okay so you are just applying tensile load over here it is having some slot over here okay and some slot over here now you are applying tensile load over here what is the minimum cross section again i'm asking minimum cross section area it is across slot so again it is going to break like this it is going to break like this so what will be the failure area just see the animation because of the tensile stress socket going to fail at minimum cross section you can see the circular area right here okay. dimensions are different we have in different dimensions so it is breaking like this it is breaking like this it is breaking like this and we know the dimension so this is the failure area so just draw the failure area over here I'm just drawing the failure area that is like this okay then Okay. So it is slot and the failure area is this. Okay. So what is dimension? This inside dimension is D1. This is capital D1. This is D. Okay. So what is the area? What is area? This area is big circle that is pi by 4 D1 square minus small d1 square okay so we got this this ring we got on this whole ring we got now we have to minus this area so what is that this area so just consider that area is like this okay this area is like this this is t this is d1 and this one is small d1 so what will be the this length this length it will d1 minus d1 so d1 minus d1 will be the this length into t into t will be the this whole area or you can go like d1 minus d1 so it will be like d1 minus d1 so you will get this 2 divided by 2 means this side into t into t now you have in two areas so multiply by 2 2 2 gone d1 minus d into t so same you can go like d1 minus d1 so this length this length into t so you will get this area so minus d1 minus d1 into t okay. so using this now you having d1 value you having t value you know the sigma t is equal to p upon a is equal to p upon this whole equation pi by 4 d1 square minus t1 square minus 
d1 minus d1 t so from using this whole equation you can find d1 value remember while solving this equation don't put it as a denominator okay if it's having 100 value this is around five, uh, 50 value or something like that okay uh, let's get this is around 50 value this is around 1000 value then put this equation over here type this sigma t over here then do solve for x okay if you put it at denominator then you won't get value okay so find t1 all right so tensile failure over so now is crushing and shear so second step is crushing failure of socket corner okay now we have already seen the crushing failure of spigot we, we have already seen the crushing failure of spigot now which side which side in socket you will get the crushing failure if you remember this then so for socket for socket clearance is at this side and quarter is stretching at this side so you will get crushing failure over here so what will be the crushing failure again it will be something same like this but at this side okay so it will be it will be like this crushing failure like simple diagram this is the crushing failure so this quarter going to touch quarter going to touch this side like this side okay this side and then it will be gap there will be gap and again this side okay so this and this so this is again what is this diameter it is capital D it is not a D1 it is capital D okay this is small D1 and this is D. okay so now from this equation what is the area area is capital D minus small d D1 into T capital D minus small d will give you this length this and this length into thickness t okay so sigma crushing is equal to p by a is equal to p upon d minus t1 into t you know t you know d1 you know p you know sigma c you can find okay so outer diameter of the socket collar or diameter of the socket collar you know now we will go for third that is remaining is shear failure of socket collar okay shear failure of socket collar now we have seen this diagram we have seen this diagram quarter is at this point quarter is at this point and you are you are just pulling the quarter using spigot spigot why using spigot you are just pulling the quarter you are just pulling the quarter also you are pulling the quarter using socket so this is touching at this point now what will happen what will happen that we'll see using animation okay so just see the let's see the animation So we have seen the failure area in the animation it was something like this okay two parts coming out two parts coming out don't draw 3d diagram in exam one one more time i'm telling you guys don't draw 3d diagram it will waste lots of time you will waste lots of time behind this and you won't get enough time to complete the paper okay so now this side this side also this side breaking okay so you will get like this you draw diagram like this in exam okay like this in exam so it is d this is d1 and this thickness is d2 
okay so it is something like this it is coming out this whole part this whole part is coming out so this thickness is t2 okay this is d what is area so area is see d minus d1 d minus d1 into t2 but there are two areas this this is first area and behind this is second area that's why 2 d2 d minus d1 so tau is equal to p upon a one more time so p upon 2 t minus d1 t2 so now t2 you know d1 you know sorry t you know d1 you know t2 you can find so find t2 so we so we wanted three dimensions that is d1 d and d2 so here we got d1 then we got d and here we got d2 so we are done with socket and spigot, so, uh, socket and collar uh, socket collar design now the remaining part is quarter okay so next step is step 5 design of quarter now see for quarter we are having three dimension first is width then thickness t okay and then length so here is t b and f t we already know that is 0 0.3 d so we have to find b and f now see this is the quarter okay this is the quarter okay now from one side from one side we are pulling it by using spigot and from here we are pulling it using socket okay so this is quarter we are pulling spigot from here so it is spigot is stretching at this side so it is applying force over here also socket we are pulling over here socket touching here and here here and here so it is applying force over here so we are having two forces over here so before going to the explanation we will see the animation So we have seen the animation and it was a double shear. So now we will get the double shear area is something like this, this and this. So this side, this side will come out. Okay. This area and this area. Okay. It will come out. It will come out like this. It will come out like this. It will come out like this okay it will come out like this so what is this area this is area is nothing but so this and two areas like this thickness is t and width is d so area is 2 into b into t so b into t one area and this is two area so 2 b t so shear stress so which stress is causing so uh, see it is double shear okay it is double shear so you have to mention the first point is double shear double shear of quarter okay so it is double shear of quarter okay so see this is the area this is area this is area and it is parallel to the force if the areas are parallel to the force then it is shear so again p upon a it is p upon 2 p t now we know p we know t we know tau we can find p all right so this is the first point so remaining is l okay so before that we have to check it for bending failure okay so bending failure of quarter second is bending failure of quarter okay so there is one diagram for bending failure of quarter now i'm going to explain from this sheet itself okay so this formula you have to remember for bending failure okay for bending failure of quarter you have to remember this formula 
Okay, now see this diagram. Okay, see this diagram. Okay, now I'm not going to explain about this formula. I will make one video about bending failure of quarter for a quarter and how this formula comes because they ask in question paper the explain the bending failure of quarter. Okay, I will I will make one video now. I'm directly telling if in design procedure or while designing you don't have to prove the formula you have to take the formula directly so m is p by 2 capital d by 6 so capital d is the diameter of spigot socket collar and d1 is diameter of spigot okay so p by 2 t by 6 plus t1 by 12 and z that is nothing but modulus section modulus or section modulus okay Z and it is uh, it is T into B square by 6 okay so Sigma B is M by Z bending stress bending stress is nothing but M by Z if you remember the, remember the equation of uh, simple bending that is may I sub U Elizabeth Rani that is M by I Sigma by Y is equal to E by R so remember this we are using this so M is M i by y is equal to sigma i by y is nothing but z i is a moment of inertia and this is a section modulus okay so this is sigma m by z so m value we having z value we having just put these values again we having everything over here again find b again find find b from this equation okay and values from earlier equation from this equation you find width of b and here also we are finding width b so you just compare those two values of b two values of b and the larger value you consider okay so this is the end of design of quarter okay now if you have any queries about designing okay you can ask me Remember PRG page number 7.140 there you will find this diagram okay you have to draw this diagram in your question paper most probably quarter join will be asked in your question paper so okay so thank you if you have any queries just comment and let me know.